Well, we're going back to our other video. Puppy! It's <laughs> filleting! Oh my gosh. What the puppy? Okay, maybe I'm filleting this one. How you doing, Rick? Good, buddy. How you doing? Good. Let's get him on YouTube. What's his name? That's, that's a girl. Her that's name is Holly. Holly. Hi, Holly. So <laughs> You're adorable. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> oh my goodness, her eyes. How old? You can, you, you can fillet now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're committed. You're going to have to fight to get that thing back now, Rick. <laughs> Uh-oh. I guess we'll fillet here in a little bit. I guess I'm holding the camera now. <laughs> <laughs> he, she oh, is thanks. adorable. Here, check this out. Look at that tail. Holy crap. She doesn't fit. Wow. Who pulled that in? Me. <laughs> Yeah, that wow. was a stud fight. Yeah, look at this one. How'd you not break your leg? 80 pound braid and 80 pound leader. Look at that grouper. Look at his shoulder right. eyeballs popping out of his head. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> look at Ben's new knife. We thought it was an amberjack. So let's get some of this nice white meat out of these. This is what we're going to make our soup with. Okay, as we're filleting these, I'm gonna take you guys back and take a look at how we caught these fish. You should be getting bit. Go, 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 you got it, got it. Little guy. Oh, it's a Barbie. Yes, get him in the boat. Oh, we did it, we did it. You did it. You did it! Yeah, baby. He's so pretty. He's beautiful. That, my friends, is eyeshadow. the perfect meat for what we're trying to do. He has blue eyeshadow and eyeliner. He matches my shirt, girl. And mine. And yours. Hey, this is perfect for that soup that I want to make. I you want to fillet it? Yeah. All right. Let's get him on ice. Yes. Trying to catch another one. Let's go. Oh boy, I don't know what I got there, but... I hope we don't get sharked again, honey. We do, at least we got meat. That was on the bottom, so I don't know, kiddo. Your line should be fine. Oh, you're getting a nibble too. Uh, I don't know what this is. This could be another amberjack or something, but he, he ate it right off the bottom. All right, move your pole to the back rod holder so it doesn't get tangled in the crop, sweetheart. No sharks, please, no sharks. Oh my goodness. Good fight or whatever it is. Gotta get him up quick. Gotta get him up quick. See him yet? Yeah, I do. You do? Oh, uh, must be a big old AJ then. No shark. No shark. It's a grouper. That is a grouper. Holy, that's a big red grouper. I got your line too. I have an AJ on. Oh my gosh. You getting this? Are you getting this? Dad basically just reeled in my fish. And <laughs> Look at that red grouper, kid. Look at this red grouper. That's my biggest red grouper ever. That's the biggest fish I've ever seen. Look at that. Girlfriend. Wow, I thought it was like a big old amberjack. Well, there was a little amberjack. Look at that. That thing is a stud, baby. Yeah. It's gotta be 40 inches. He's a stud. 
knife's got nice flex to it, man. You get a lot of fish to fillet. What a big fish. Yep. Now. So this is what we're gonna make our soup with, guys. It's beautiful white meat. It looks like that grouper could eat that dog. Rick. He could. <laughs> <laughs> So we got some friends over here. We're gonna divvy up some of this filet, pass it out. We all know it's a lot tastier when it's fresh. Okay guys, welcome to the kitchen. These are some of the things that we're gonna need for our soup. Bok choy, you got a couple of different kinds of squash, Italian parsley, peppers, some jalapenos, leek, spinach tomatoes mushrooms and garlic so we're going to do some uh, pepper a little bit of olive oil and then some salt we're just going to slice these peppers fairly thin when i'm making soups and stuff like that uh, the size and consistency is is kind of key looks wise and like i always say if it looks good it tastes good now we'll just slice them in half and there we go, there's our red peppers. We're gonna take some tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, and we're just gonna slice them long ways. So we'll make two pieces out of one. And we're just gonna slice these bad boys like so. And then we're gonna cut them into quarters. Now all the moisture from all these vegetables is going to be amazing in the soup. There we go. Same thing, just quarter it up. We use this a lot instead of celery, this bok choy. But this really fits this style of soup. I like to use some of the leaves, but I want, I want to get right to the heart of it and make things roughly the same size. But this is where the good stuff is. You can see right in the center. Now we'll take some of these leaves and we'll chop those up, put it right in there. I might cut these long ways like this. There we go. Into the pot. Look at the colors in here. Oh yeah. It's gonna be so much juice. All right, these leeks I'm gonna cut kind of thinner, a little bit more thin. Now, and that starts to get pretty tough up in there. Sometimes I'd cut them, you know, cut them this way. But I'm just going to let them fall apart and be little circles. I think it'll look good. I'm just going to ball this parsley up like this and just lightly chop it perfect okay now for the jalapenos we're going to leave the seeds right in them guys this is where we're going to get our heat and our more flavor going to leave these mushrooms in whole pieces obviously because it looks cool in the soup well you can see look at how much stuff we got in there but i'm making a huge pot because we're going to give some to the to the boys too steven and brandon now look at all this garlic 
I just smashed it all with my handy dandy tool. Love this thing. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to put a bunch of salt. I like this stuff and any of my soups salty. I know that looks like a lot, but there's going to be a lot. And I do mean a lot of water in here. Plus, it's going to have all the juices. Okay, so I'm going to fill it up to about there for right now and let this simmer for a little bit. Got my steamer here. I just added a bunch of water to it. I'm going to put the fish in this basket and whatever drips in there, I want to incorporate that into the soup just for that nice flavor. Now we will steam this. We don't want to like steam it to where it's falling apart just to where it's just cook just enough and then we'll add it to the soup and we'll we'll simmer it for or for a couple minutes maybe but we'll, we'll just let it stand as it cools all them flavors should come together that's the goal anyways so what i got here check this out this is some of our uh, porgy and grunt but then i've got the tail section of one fillet of that big grouper I'm going to throw the lid on this and see how that's looking. But I want to oil, just a splash of oil on both sides of these fillets. Because I want it to drip all that yummy stuff right down into that water that's in there that we're using to steam. Normally I don't need that much water in the steamer, but I wanted to put extra in. And I might even add a little bit of salt to that too, which will uh, add more flavor. All right, I'm just going to put some pepper on these guys here. Just a touch of salt. Just a touch. Okay, I'm going to flip them, do the same thing on the other side, and then we'll start steaming this stuff. I'm going to start with these thicker two right off the bat. And we'll go see how long that takes. We'll test them with the fork here in a little bit. Let's go. The fish is looking good. It's starting to steam. Now this was just simmering pretty well. I shut it off because what I don't want to happen is those vegetables get soft but I have to add more water in there. As you can see, there's a lot of vegetables, so I want to bring the water up so that we've got plenty of broth. Ooh, that is looking good. See all the juices coming out? That's what I'm trying to collect in that water. Okay, so I added a bunch of water to that. That's kind of cooling down so we don't overcook it. Now I switched out the fish. What I'm gonna do is just kind of cut this stuff up. See, it's still cooking itself. the last of the fish that broth isn't too bad it's not quite as clear as i was hoping but that's i mean what you expect i guess from steaming it like that now to get it in the pot i'm going to give it a little bit of a stir here I don't want it to all fall apart. Now it's still pretty much steaming here, so I'm just going to let this stuff sit. And let all those juices come together.
hand, I'm going to add some of this. That should be good. Still pretty clear, but you can see the oil in there. A little bit of oil on top. Okay, I'm going to throw the lid on it and let this stuff just blend. Anyhow, so you guys, we're going to try this out. Ellie and I are waiting for everybody else to, uh, to get home and we'll have dinner. But what do you say, quick taste test? So I'm hoping next time we go out there we bring the big rod so we can teach those sharks a lesson because they took a lot of fish from us a lot okay baby so like that's porgy right there if you wanted to try the porgy That's, that's yummy. Uh, yeah, nice clear broth. The vegetables still have a little crunch to them. You got that jalapeno flavor in there, which is kind of a cool mixture, but perfect. I'm very pleased. All right, guys. God bless you. We thank you guys for watching. And uh, we're going to see you in the next one. We are...